Hey folks, everything new under the sun. This is going to be uh, my quick ideas for how to set the uh, Signature Solar EG4 solar charge controller up uh, for uh, maximum solar use. And this is in a situation where it's off-grid. However, there is a grid input uh, when the solar is not there. I've got um, option 16, which is uh, where you choose whether it's a solar first, utility first, uh, you know, the, the, the uh, charge priority. I have it set to uh, CSO, which is uh, solar energy will charge the battery as priority. Utility will charge the battery only when solar is not available. So it makes sense, right? But the most important uh, setting for this uh, particular scenario, uh, if this is what you want, kind of to maximize your storage, is options 43 and 44. And they have to do with the uh, the state of charge point back to utility, which is 43, and the state of charge point back to battery. Now 43, I like to set a 43 uh, for um, uh, maximum solar and money savings as low as possible. This basically lets you set it down to 20% uh, percent on the EG4 LL battery. That way you uh, you uh, discharge the battery to its maximum. Again, 20% is as far as you can go on this particular battery. You can't go down to 10 or 5%. And so you get your maximum amp hours out of it. And why do you do that? Well, you want to drain it as far as possible so that when the sun comes up, there's maximum, you, you've discharged it as far as possible so that the solar can then charge it back up. Now, likewise, for option 44 in the menu, um, setting the state of charge point uh, back to battery, um, I set that again as low as uh, possible. Um, so I have mine set to 60, which I think is the lowest you can set it to. And the reason I do that uh, is uh, because, again, I, I don't want to use the grid very much. Um, so uh, the grid's going to charge it back up to 60%. And when it gets that uh, to that amount, it's going to switch over and just run down the battery again back down to 20% basically. It's not going to charge it up to 100%. I don't want it because I want to wait till the sun comes up and to use the solar panels to, in a maximum way, to uh, to charge the uh, to the charge the battery, so there's maximum capacity in the battery uh, for the, the panels to charge. And so what you can see here is a solar assistant, and this shows the battery going down to 20% and then up to 60 and this is exactly what I'm talking about this is the settings on my EG4 it goes down to 20 and it only charges it up to 60 before the grid shuts down uh, and um, you can see uh, the grid here if I go back up here so here is the grid which is the red it'll it'll charge it up to 60 percent uh, and then shut off and then here's the the yellow is the solar power and again then it comes back up once the battery gets down to 20 percent um, it, it starts uh, using grid power again. Again, this is after the sun has went down, after at about 7 o'clock. I'm in <clears throat> eastern, uh, eastern Canada, uh, so it is winter now as of, that, as of the time that I'm making this video. So the sun is going down fairly quickly, and I, it wasn't the best uh, sunny day. Um, but that's that's how I'm running it. Um, so again, this is Solar Assistant, which uh, runs on a ra Raspberry Pi uh, unit. And so you can see my state of charge is low, and I want to keep it low for maximum savings. Again, because when the sun comes up, I want lots of uh, capacity there for the solar panels to charge up. All right, here is the last uh, two days. Now you can see uh, the day before uh, uh, today, yesterday, that, that I had fairly good sun, and you can see a, a nice arc uh, there. Uh, starting but then you see at the end of day uh, between there and there you see it cut off around uh, was it uh, 12 o'clock one o'clock there that's because I've had I have no more uh, capacity in my battery and uh, so the problem uh, there when you have no more capacity of course your solar panels are useless so I'm wasting all of this part of the day when the Sun could be charging uh, because I have low capacity. So the answer is uh, to add more battery capacity, of course, um, but that's a lot of money. So again, to optimize that, drain the battery as much as possible uh, and leave it drained as much as possible without using grid, only use the grid in the red there to sustain it uh, you know, at, at a certain level so it's uh, operable, but otherwise let the solar do it when it wakes up in the morning. So that's what I wanted to show you uh, with the EG4 from Signature Solar, and that's the way I have it uh, set up. Thanks.